across the country are celebrating Juneteenth, commemorating the end of slavery. And for the first time, Juneteenth is being celebrated as a federal holiday. And as our Ford Hatchet reports, a local community is making sure a chapter of North Carolina's African American history is preserved for future generations. As Juneteenth celebrations carry on on this beautiful day across the Piedmont Triad, here in Walnut Cove, there's an extra reason to celebrate. We are celebrating two things. Not only are we celebrating Juneteenth, but we are celebrating the centennial year of the historic Walnut Cove Color School, which is a Rosenwald school. Rosenwald schools were built across the South in the early 1900s for black students, but now of the more than 5,000 schools originally built, less than 15% remain. North Carolina had the most at 813. There are only 40 remaining, and the Walnut Cove Color School, when it was restored, in the late 1990s became the model for the restoration of the Rosenwald schools across the South. Today's celebration included music, games, and food. An educational documentary honored the school's history, and Dr. Dalton says today is the perfect day to celebrate. We said it has to be on Juneteenth, which happened to be a Saturday. Little did we know that two days ago it would become a national holiday. And while this may mark a significant milestone, Dr. Dalton hopes it's just a stepping stone. It's just important that we continue this legacy. I want somebody else to be standing here in 100 years celebrating the bicentennial of the Warner Cove Color School. So as people say, we are the ones that we've been waiting for. And our ancestors paid it forward. We have to do the same thing. In Walnut Cove, Fort Hatchet, WXII 12 News.